Hello, my name is Dr. Patrick Lawrence from the University of Toledo Department of Geography and Planning. I'm here presenting a poster presentation on behalf of my graduate student, Dr. Edwina Tyree. This poster focuses on a transportation simulation model for selected concentrated animal feeding facilities within the Maumee watershed. Essentially, this project aimed to simulate the amount of manure estimated produced from permitted facilities, uh, both dairy and hog facilities in the Maumee watershed. Uh, 31 uh, sites were selected where we had data on the amount of manure that was produced and then moved off site for field application in adjacent farmland within a 10 mile perimeter, which is the typical transportation distance based on cost for redistribution of the bulk good. That is manure that is not stored or reused on fields adjacent, immediately adjacent to the facilities where they operate. The transportation model basically simulates movement um, in that region out to surrounding um, census district areas. That's how the distribution model runs for bulk goods. We simulate that simply to show um, the approximate estimated amount of material that we moved out from each facility into a surrounding region to get a sense overall of the amount of manure potentially distributed. We are not looking on specific amounts into specific fields. We don't have that data. What we do know is the amount that's produced that has to be moved off site. We focused on the facilities where we have the data. The results that you're seeing in the center of this map at the top are the sites located throughout the watershed and sub watersheds in the Maumee watershed. Below that, you see uh, findings into two areas, um, allocating by source, that is the distribution. Every point there is a site, and then the area that is the block features are located where that manure was going. The color coding is the amount moved into those locations. And you will see that distributed by total and then separated uh, livestock, dairy versus swine. Uh, at the bottom, you see the example of allocate by materials, in this case, just dealing with dairy manure and the location of distribution of this from those 31 sites. The key results to take away from this work are the clustering of locations of regions, that is the darker colors that receive more manure from um, one or more adjacent sites that overlap within that 10 mile radius. Also trying to get a sense of the capacity, the available of land within that region that is cultivated farmland that potentially could take that manure. Again, that does not assume that that land is available or the landowner agrees to take the manure as a soil uh, admin, or sorry, soil addition uh, material, but just the potential, an acreage count of um, nutrient available soils that would take uh, based on the amount of nutrients within the manure for application on those lands. So we're simulating, right, not predicting or accounting for all manure, its location and movement. We're simulating the capacity of these areas just based on these 31 facilities. There are many more uh, concentrated animal feeding facilities in the watershed, but we don't have data for smaller and others. We are aware there are more of them. It's a proof of concept to use a transportation distribution model technique, right, to look at the simulated movement of manure across the landscape from sites and potentially uh, applied on available farmland. You know, future plans for such work would be to be able to expand this by having data for other sites, other facilities in terms of manure amounts and available farmland within the 10 miles, which would give us more accurate assessment of the amount of manure available and its potential to be used on the land in areas where we might get um, nodes or feature areas or hotspots of large amounts of manure. Also allow us to better manage in a regional sense, the manure and if it can be moved to a central location for treatment, reuse and alternative applications or use of manure from farmland fields. Thank you very much. Any questions, please feel free to contact me. You'll see my email listed here on the poster.